Hello, hello there. It's Kendra. I love to watch. This is the weekly watch list, and today we are reacting to X Men 97 episode 3 Fire Made Flesh. Let's get into it. I don't really have much of an intro for this one. I just finished watching episode two, The Mutant Liberation Begins, um, which was really good. Uh, a lot better than I actually expected. I don't know what I was expecting from the series, but it's been really good so far. I don't um, have any notes. Uh, it was powerful and effective what they did with Aurora. Um, I keep calling her Aurora, that's a name, but you know, Storm. Uh, Magneto is really compelling. Even his, his past with uh, Rogue is compelling. This new gene? Huh? Who's that? What's going on there? Let's find out. This episode's called Fire Made Flesh. And it has something to do with an immortal mad scientist? Mm -hmm. Let's see what's going on. Her mind is dense. As if her awareness was born only yesterday. I see a den of born only yesterday. Pain. Then to escape. And hope. So, did somebody clone her? Home? Who? <laughs> Darling. I'm fine, Scott. But who she is or where she came from remains a mystery. Well, those pants. I love those 90s pants Jean is wearing. Let's call this mystery gal in the bed Jean Doe. My friends, the Jean that lies on this couch would appear to be the actual Jean Grey. How? The actual Jean Grey. I used gamma rays to isolate the hemoglobic properties of both genes' genetic markers. A okay. carbon dating each woman on a cellular level. Okay. Uh, English sugar. Jean Doe is older. The proper age. What the fuck does that mean? Ergo, our gene is a clone. What? Impossible. The science is sound. Beast, you can't just be dropping shit purpose. like that on us so you casually. You could have been manipulated by someone with wicked intentions. Scott, tell them. Oh shit! Whoa. Scott. Scott is suspicious. Beast, confirm your test. Ooh. Enough tests. Jesus, fuck Ray that noise. The X Men, one of the first. You know me. We just have to be sure. Ooh. Storm would have believed me. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. She took up baby said, fuck y'all. It's okay. It's okay, my darling. Please, not now. Jean, um, I can take it. <laughs> <It's fine. laughs> no, you're not taking my baby. Change the fact that I'm Nathan's mother. With the professor and Storm gone and Magneto here, it's been a lot for everyone. Scott, I need you to trust me. Of course I trust you. Uh, I mean, do you? In us. You never could lie to me, Scott. But you always believed in me. Just go. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh! Is this the mad scientist? Who's there? Answer. Okay. Time isn't some history book, man. It's always writing, rewriting, headed oh, into my stars and garters. Scott, you have to get Nathan. <laughs> Hank, what's wrong? Scientists, huh? like artists, have signatures to their work. I know who cloned Gene, a man so dark and twisted he can be described as nothing other than sinister. I don't oh. most prefer to be as Mr. Sinister. Mr. Sinister. You can call me father. Father. Oh! You and your son are meant for so much more. How is he doing that? Never. You've brought. I don't really know much about him. Our lives, kidnapping us, running your science experiments just so you could use our genes to create. Mm. You want our son? That's why I made you, baked you. So it's true. <laughs> wow. I'm not Jean Grey. Oh, that's a mind trip. You and your son to your royal. Destiny. You'll come nowhere near my son. You have no choice. <gasps> what? Time to wake up, my queen. My she is a clone. Mind is flawless. <laughs> 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 
Did this happen in the comic books? What has she become? Me, maybe Gambit should have played less rough with you in the danger room. They spot, but the cards, they wild. Huh. huh. Rematch then? <laughs> well, let's look at the schedule and see who's up next. Hmm. Well, Looks like Neo and Rogue have the danger room next. Rogue's really training her stamina with the new bomb. Hmm. Magneto and Rogue in the danger room. On second dog. Getting busy. Gambit, go look for Rogue right now. <laughs> <laughs> Morph is totally fucking with Gambit. Go easy on him, pal. I think you just sent his hush puppies up into his stomach. One his of them. hush puppies. Uh. Oh, is everybody leaving you on your own more? Hold on here. Oh, Jean's about to do something. Oh, I forgot about that kid with the powers that are still kind of obscure, except Hello? they're solar somehow. That you, Gambit? Logan? Here. I need some help with those hard-to-reach spaces. Always with the jokes, eh? More! As if I don't know. As if we all don't know. Say it ain't so. Get on back to the swamp with the rest of them nasty, thieving critters, Remy. I found myself a real man. A hero. Ow! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Oh, it's sinister and morph. Oh, right. Oh, shit. Whoa. Where's the child? Oh, shit. Failed to sire a child with the proper wife. Failed to lead the team. That demerits. You abandoned me, Bishop. When is your time? No, you're not real. Savior. Don't look at me. It's not my son. Woo! Whoa! Whoa! What was that thing? Girl, I don't know shit. What the fuck you asking me for? Oh, this is like some Miyazaki shit. <laughs> Beast. Cyclops, it's like the worst horror movie ever. The whole mansion's possessed. Yeah, they can never unsee that. <laughs> Don't stop, no. <laughs> what the heck is going on? The writing is. We're in hell. <laughs> We're in hell. Yeah, yeah, I shouldn't have rejected old uh, pony Jean there. While I share Sinister's apparent affection for Dante's Inferno, I must ask how he's exerting this much power over our perceptions of reality. No, this is the, the clone. Roberto, look oh, out! Oh, can you use your powers, please? Can you somebody train him? Not a Lewis Carroll fan. A little help, please. Peace. The literary references. Ugh. You smell like burnt hair. Yo, Cyclops, hit me. Nice. Oh yeah, the demon's about to get it. Y'all about to get it. Where you going? Come get it. Get these cookies, baby. Blast him, Bishop! Yeah! You're welcome. What the fuck is this guy? Oh, that's the real Jean in the hospital gown. Did she just randomly wake up? The other gene, though. Oh, there she is. Even seeing you. You don't have to do this. Who doesn't? The baby's just Who chilling I in a little. Say my name, Scott. Oh, ho, ho, no, not to say my name. Me. I am beyond Jean Grey, beyond the X Men. I am scorn and fury, forged in righteous brimstone. I am the Goblin Queen. What? This is the taste of what waits for you if you follow. Don't. The Goblin Queen. I'm sorry, Remy. Should have been here. It's okay, Shia. 
Yeah, you should have, but you was boinking Magneto. Status report. Sinister created the clone so he could get his hands on our son. Sinister is the most evil man who ever existed. Then he started cutting up mutants, stealing our DNA to enhance himself, prolong his life. He can even take away their will. I should know. Well. I can show you where he is. Rogue Wolverine Beast, tend to our wounded. I will lead the others in a surgical strike. Lead the way. A surgical strike? Okay, what's the surgical part? At last. The spawn of Scott Summers and Jean Grey. Not the spawn of Scott Summers. You know why you are my greatest prize. I'm gonna drop that baby in the valley green the stuff now! <gasps> you must be made invulnerable. A new breed of perfect creations will be born this night. <laughs> Yo, sister is... Maybe the most evil dude on earth. They just dropped that baby in a vat of green stuff and is about to mutate the baby again. Fan out. The baby's like, hey man, the fuck? I didn't sign up for this. She's under his control. <laughs> I knew you'd this follow looks like Scott. It's all you that do. dark ray. Just ask oh. Professor. The Haunted oh. Mansion. Oh. She's like, uh huh, Teddy. You're not going to fight you, comrade. Yes, my queen. <laughs> wow, damn, Morph, you cannot not get possessed. Give us the boy, you brimstone clone. I applaud I mean, your Scott just gonna have to make another baby with the other gene. My telekinetic charm extends beyond mere metal. Yeah, uh, Magneto, babe. I think you might be a little outmatched on this one. A villain playing dress up is a hero. I should have you as a toy. Go. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh shit. Ooh, she's got a badass. Mm. Ooh. You'll bleed too. Darling. Okay, girl! <laughs> she about to fuck him up. I'm right here. Oh, he loves him some Jean. Oh, Logan. Logan. Remember that I love you before Scott gets back. Now, Logan. Now, Logan. Now, Logan. Okay, now Scott's in pain, so there's your chance. Go. Gone. My dear, you are not going to Damn, she put she put enough hair, hair in a ponytail. It's on. My body won't be an issue. This ends now. Yeah, I'm in your mind, bitch. It's me. Oh. Fucking con fighting her with her thoughts. My family, now my mom. Who's gonna win? Oh, bitch! That all you can remember. Is she here? Now this is interesting. Are you gonna spare her? Oh, there. Do you know who or I kill am? her? Mom and Dad called you to help fix me. I remember this. When did we find our power? So now they're just chilling down memory lane together. That's interesting. I mean, they are technically the same person, so it's your it's your choices that make you who you are. So Goblin Queen is Jean Grey. She's just choosing to give in to her pain and her anger and all that, where Jean chooses not to do that. I mean, the other Jean. They're all the same memories from the same bitch. She swallowed herself? Did y'all watch some Miyazaki? I feel like y'all watched some Miyazaki to prepare for this. I feel like there's definitely anime hints. Or maybe, or maybe I'm, I, you know what? My references may be very narrow. There could be even broader references that I'm watching here that I'm not, I'm just not getting. But it's, this is not regular, just car Saturday morning cartoon stuff that I'm watching right here, in my opinion. In my humble opinion. Look, he has your eyes. <laughs> well. 
That's okay, okay, all right now. Now, which which gene is remembering this? Because it's technically Goblin Queen who gave birth to Nathan. So I don't. Uh, He's a living reminder of the purest love two people can share. Right, but ever, which one of you ever, bitches is saying that? Okay, so that's the real gene. This is the greatest moment of my life. Are you gonna let the Goblin Queen have her son? Oh, okay. Blast him! You stay away from our son! Fools! Now, Ladybird, Ladybird, fly away on. Your house is on fire. God, Nathan. <coughs> oh, he done fucking kill him. And you let them get away! They always letting them get away. Why y'all letting them get away? Y'all need a prison! It's a techno-organic virus strain. Sinister was likely exposing Nathan organic. to it in the hopes of making him invincible. Figure it out, Beast. Please. God, is like, bitch, I don't care about all that. Just make it years better. To develop a cure, and the virus is already spreading rapidly. So what you're saying is not here. Not in our time. What if there's a cure in yours, Bishop? Interesting. In the future, Beast's nearly fixed your time band. This band only got enough juice for Nathan and I. Meaning, we can't go with you. Damn, they gonna have to give up their kid? Another way. We said we give him the best possible future. Where is the other Gene? I'm so confused. Any of you know how it feels to be abandoned? I can't be a part of this. Gotta stay there and stand in that discomfort, dude. It's a hard decision, so why are you running away from it? Wait a minute. I thought there were two genes. What happened to the other gene? We love you so much, Nathan. Damn, it's fucked up. Where are you go? Who's gonna take care of that baby? Okay, so that's gonna be cool. Is he gonna come back later wait. and be like, hey, mom? Oh, there she is. Oh, God. This is your home, too. Okay, wait. How much do you remember? Most everything. Then you know how much I've wanted to go to start a new life. Oh. It's not fair. Okay. We don't know when Sinister switched us. An unknowable future built on an unknowable past. So, you okay. let them take your baby Jean. and send it? I mean, I know it's what's best for the child, Jean but they didn't involve her at all? Farewell, Matt. Madeline Pryor. Oh, okay, interesting. Mm. They got stuff to talk about or not talk about. Shame about the weather. No summer like a Texas summer. Now, uh, who is this? Someone could just make it rain. Speak plainly. Who are you? <laughs> Another shit. Right? Ford, Storm. Oh, Ford. I'd like to help you get back what you've lost. How are you gonna do that, bro? I'm suspicious, but okay. Okay, Goblin Queen. I really, really enjoyed this. I'm gonna rate this a nine and a half out of ten. Let's talk about it. Okay. Well, that one was really interesting. It was a little confusing at times. I couldn't really tell which one was our original gene and which one was like new Goblin Queen gene sometimes. Um, but I really liked the dynamic between the two genes during the big, you know, sort of mind fights and how they were kind of, it's almost like that ship of Theseus argument that um, Vision had with White Vision. I don't know which one's the real Vision, my Vision, because of my memories. Oh, okay, okay. It was kind of like that, um, which was interesting. Pause, stop right there. I was about to explain why I, at the time, rated this an 8.5 out of 10, but after thinking about it and re-watching it during my edit, I am going to change my rating. It is now a 9.5. I really enjoyed the horror elements especially, and I enjoyed the dynamic between Jean and the Goblin Queen or Madeline Pryor, and also the tension between Scott and the new Jean now. Um, Oh, and Scott's whole thing about his abandonment issues. Wonderful stuff. Okay, back to the review. But I really did appreciate kind of just learning more about the wider X-Men 
universe and all the characters in it. Like I said, I'm reacting to this blind. I, I watched the X-Men growing up, but I can't remember most of it. And I didn't, I don't read comic books. I haven't read the comic books. So I'm discovering these characters for the first time and I really like them, you know? I'm not really sure who Forge is, but I can't wait to figure out more about him. Obviously, eventually end up watching um, breakdowns, you know, from like Screen Crush and New Rockstars and stuff like that. So I can, you know, learn a little bit more about all the Easter eggs and stuff that I'm missing. And I'm sure, I'm so sure that you'll tell me in the comments. Like Sinister as a villain is interesting so far. Like he seems pretty cool. Um, he certainly has plans on top of plans on top of plans. So it is pretty uh, compelling that he devised this whole weird ass plan to clone Gene so he can get uh, some offspring that he can control and you know take over everything. And then they came and got the baby, but the baby's got this weird techno virus and so they have to send him to the future with bitches but you know it's just it's cool it's cool it, it's 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 cool i like it a lot um so i'm gonna hit up this next episode episode four but i really liked the the themes again there's grown folk stuff love and marriage child abandonment issues of identity and, and all that kind of stuff i, I really appreciate that there's some characters in here that i feel are like way underutilized like i really want to know more about this kid with the the solar powers but he's just kind of there and also they're not really using jubilee you know it's a lot to balance i think um and it is what it is and it is good i do it really like it next episode please and thank you peace